What's up guys, Nick here, and today we talk about the Mayono Caster Light AM200. Now, this was sent to me by the nice people over at Mayono. So, the first thing I want to talk about is the actual build quality of this product. As soon as I unboxed it, I instantly felt how light this really is, but it's honestly built super well. It feels very solid. All the control knobs are very, very smooth. All the sliders are very smooth. And what's nice is, since they are so smooth, you can make very fine adjustments. I'd have to say the weakest points of this are the rubber buttons on the soundboard, which is to be expected, but they're not bad by any means. They Still did a very good job making them still feel tactile they also include a lot of cables with this which is very very nice pretty much any cable you'll ever need for the operation of this thing it includes one USB-C to USB-A cable because the USB-C port is how you charge it and connect it to a computer and whatnot. There's three 3.5 millimeter audio cables and there's one XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable for this microphone. Some other little accessories that are included, the microphone, it comes with a little tripod and this foam filter to help reduce pops and things like that. Some other features of this soundboard is the fact that you can connect it via Bluetooth. This is amazing for if you're doing podcasts or things like that on the go. And speaking of on the go, it has a 1200 milliamp hour battery built into it and they're claiming eight hours of battery life i never got to test it because i've always used it right here at my desk but even during the testing of battery usage it never even really went down there's four led indicators indicate the battery level and it stayed on all four this soundboard is compatible with mobile devices such as smartphones tablets and it's also compatible with computers on windows or mac but personally i really appreciate how it's available for smartphone users because i feel like too many products are geared so towards computers they kind of leave out the mobile device market and mobile devices are so capable these days and there's no shortcomings with this if you decide to use it with a mobile device this sound board also comes with a lot of pre-installed effects 99% of the time I'm using the denoise effect there are a lot of effects but if you press the effect button when it's kind of this salmon color it's set to original red is set to pro green is pop and blue is something called MC moving on past we have the pitch button this basically changes your voice to be feminine or masculine or it makes your voice sound like a baby or a robot the next button is music only this is for if you have background music underneath your commentary you can press this button and it'll remove any lyrics from that background music so let's say you don't want the lyrics or you want to do some freestyling then we have the denoise effect this basically just removes any background hisses or weird hums the loop back button is for how the music is being routed for example when it's lit up the music coming from your computer is being inputted to the stream room then after that we have the side chain button this button is for if you have background music it helps highlight your voice so that way the music isn't overpowering it then if we move up we have this button called electron this is basically how you can auto tune different pitches such as a flat things like that so with build quality and features out of the way let's talk about how it actually works the first time i ever used this i just plugged it into my laptop and used audacity and i love using the soundboard because all the dials are right at your fingertips you don't have to worry about fiddling with software and it's just so much easier to work with you can get the optimal sound and for me personally it makes audio working more fun i haven't really done much audio editing in the software just because it kind of scares me a little bit because audio is so important the last thing i want to do is mess it up but with this i like the sound more because you can plug in your headphones you can monitor it and make sure it sounds good before you go on and actually record a real audio file the second way i used it was actually live streaming with my ps4 and i can tell you it's so much better using this sound more when you're live streaming but the best part was definitely how i could adjust the game sound i had a connect it up so that way the game was going through the soundboard and I can use the music dial to adjust how loud the game is so if the game's too loud I can turn it down if my voice is too quiet I can turn it up or vice versa and just overall it gave me so much more control over the audio going onto the stream and this board does have pre-installed effects like booing clapping cheering etc and yeah they are a little corny but they're fun to use on your stream it just adds more of a light-hearted aspect and for me personally I like that and there is four blank buttons so you can make your own sound effects whatever you want and the third way I used it was I actually connected it up to my smartphone and this worked great i just used the built-in camera app on my iphone and i plugged in my iphone via 3.5 millimeter cable and connected it to it by bluetooth and it worked great there was no issues i was kind of worried with the bluetooth if there'd be some weird delay or anything but there was no delay which isn't surprising it's advertising bluetooth 5 connectivity and it functioned how it should and it was just a breeze to set up next i want to talk about the usability and how easy it was and now i think this is more of a beginner oriented thing but what's nice is there's still a lot of professional control so if you are a beginner this is your first time buying a soundboard there's not so many where you're confused and intimidated and there is a user manual that explains everything but there's a lot of knobs so that as you grow and progress in your career the soundboard will kind of grow with you and i would say personally the hardest part for me was making sure the cables were in the right spot and finally let's talk about the xlr microphone quality that's actually what i'm using right now so i've never used an xlr microphone i don't know what i was expecting but it's the exact same as using a usb microphone in this case and this included mic is actually really really good and it's awesome that's included and all of this is for a hundred dollars you get a high quality soundboard a high quality 
lovely microphone. This mic has nice, clean, crisp audio. And with the proper adjustments, I have it set so it's a little deeper, but it's still nice and crisp on the highs and mids, all from right in the soundboard. I did notice that the raw audio coming out of it does hiss a little bit, but it's not that bad. And by simply turning on the denoise effect, that hiss is gone and it's nice and clean. This microphone does have a very specific pickup pattern. I personally have noticed if I even slightly move away or off to the side, it gets really muffled and quiet, which is a very good thing. This helps cut out any unwanted background noise if you're doing a podcast, live streaming, recording, or if you're playing video games, it'll help cut out the sound of your keyboard, your controller, things like that. So just focus on your voice, which is nice. So what are my final thoughts about this product? Well, I'm definitely super happy to use it. And I genuinely got joy out of using it because I've never had something like this. And it was actually fun to go in, mess with all the dials and it's built extremely well. So I'd have no issue taking this with me to do portable recordings or maybe even podcasts. So if you're in the market to start a podcast or you're in the market for a beginner soundboard or live streaming, I would definitely recommend this. So if you guys want to pick one up for yourself, make sure to check the link in the description below. Again, thank you to the guys over at Mayono for sending this over to me. It's been a pleasure and I absolutely love this thing. Well, that's it for me, guys. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you are new. Peace out.